Strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So it should sound like this. going to sound like this. So basically this song is just E minor, C, G, and G again. Okay, so I'll repeat again. E minor, C, G, and G again. Okay, and the strumming pattern is just down, down, up. Up, down, up. Alright, we'll start off with the E minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up. C, down, down, up, up, down, up. G, down, down, up, up, down, up. G again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now you can play a little twist with it. What it does is with the G, instead of just playing down, down, up, up, down, up twice like this. You can play it with a twist by making it sound like this. Okay, so did you see what I just did? Basically, I put my little finger, everything stays the same. I put my little finger right at the bottom of the ring finger, right there. Okay, so it's at the first string of the third fret. Okay, so and you just give it a little strong before you release it and play the rest of the strumming pattern. So you go down, down, press it down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so you just give it a little press for a few seconds, however long you want, and then just release it, depending how you feel with the song. Okay, so it should sound like this. If this is too tricky for you, just stay, just stick with the G, just G and then G again with the same strumming pattern and the song will work fine for you as well. And that is it, that's the whole song. You just repeat E, C, G and G over and over again with the same strumming pattern and guess what? You know how to play Wake Me Up. <laughs> I'll play the whole song with singing so then you know how it sounds like. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. 